Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, we will see how to create header and footer on Elementor website without using Elementor Pro. So we will be using a free plugin to create header and footer on your Elementor website. I have already published a video on how to create header and footer using one of the free plugins. This is the video that I have already published. I'll give you the link in the description box. You can watch this video also. This is one of the free plugin. Now in this video, we are going to install another free plugin. Apart from header and footer, you can use many other features of this free plugin. Like you can use different features, different widgets apart from the header and footer. So this is one of the free plugin that you can use if you do not have Elementor Pro plugin. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. And on this WordPress website, we are using Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin. Now, this dummy website is already using header and footer that is created by Elementor Pro plugin. In one of the previous videos, I have already shown you how to create header and footer using Elementor Pro theme builder feature. Now, if you do not have Elementor Pro plugin on your website, then you can also use some free plugins to create header and footer. Now, in this video, we are going to install a different free plugin to create header and footer. So the name of the plugin is Elements Kit Lite. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. So we are going to install this free plugin and search for Elements Kit. So this is the plugin Elements Kit Elementor add-on. So apart from header footer builder, it has mega menu builder, free Elementor widgets and Elementor template li library. So these are the additional features that you can use on your Elementor website. So let's click on install now. Click on activate. Okay, so the plugin has been activated. Now, as I said earlier, this dummy website is already using header and footer created using Elementor Pro plugin. So let me disable the header and footer that is already published on this website. So let's go to theme builder. So this header is created using Elementor Pro. So I'm going to disable this so that we can use the new header and footer created using free plugin. So let's go to header. So you can see this header here. So now we are going to disable it for the moment. Here I'm going to delete the condition so that it will not be used on the website. Same for the footer. I am going to disable this condition. Now let me refresh this website. So you can see that the header is gone and the footer is also gone. Right now, let's go to the dashboard. Now on this dummy website, we do not have any header or footer. Now let's go to the dashboard and go to elements kit, go to header footer. Now you will see some kind of wizard here. So let's click on next step. If you want to use these plugins, you can install these plugins. So I'm not going to use them right now. I have already published a video on Metform. You can watch that video also. Click next step. It shows how to use their widgets. Click next step. Surprise. So this is the header and footer. Upgrade within the next two hours and get a 40% discount. Okay, so these are the advertisements. So let's click on next step. And click save changes. Okay, now we are on the dashboard. Go to header footer. Okay, so click on add new. We are going to create header. So let me header one. This will be the name of the header. And here you can choose the type that will be header. And it will be for entire website. If you want, you can use this only for single page or any archive. But these are the features for the pro plugin. So for the free, we are going to use it for the entire website. Activate, deactivate. So we're going to activate. Click on save changes. Okay, so this is the header one. 
click on edit i'm going to open it in a new tab okay now click on edit with elementor so this is where we are going to create the header so click on the plus sign we are going to use two columns on the left hand side we will add logo and on the right hand side we will add some content so click on this plus sign and go to image and i'm going to add the logo here we already have the logo uploaded so i'm going to use that logo i'm going to reduce the size here okay now in this section we are going to add some information about the business so i'm going to use icon list and make it inline it goes at the top so i'm going to select the icon select the column and vertical alignment change it to middle okay so here we have three items so in the first one i'm going to use let's say phone so let's say use phone i'm going to use this icon so these are the icons added by elements kit light plugin so these are the extra icons added insert phone number here the dummy phone number now the second item will be email so here you can type in your email address and third one will be map or the address of your business that will be the physical address all right so this is the dummy address that i'm using so here we are going to change the alignment to the middle to the center change the icon color the size text color and change the text size also all right so here we have the information the logo and the business information now we are going to add one more column here one more section here and in this section we are going to add the menu so let's click on the plus sign and search for menu so here you will see the menu widget added by elements kit plugin that we have added so i'm going to use this elements kit nav menu here and select the menu so this is the main menu so you can see that we have added menu using this plugin let's arrange the menu to the center style let's change the style height let's add some background color here so we will change the background color of this entire menu bar typography so everything will be white here let's select the menu again and the menu height will be let's say 50 menu item style let's go to menu item style and change the text color to white so here you will see the white color text on hover it will change the color to green and for the active we are going to change it to green so these are the menu settings so i'm going to change the size also let's use 20. now let's see these are this is the drop down so if i go to sub menu and i can change the background color for the sub menu let's change it to blue and the text color will be white so this is how it will look okay now let's see how does this look on the mobile device so click on this responsive mode here you will see the responsive mode select this and after that go to this and this is how it will look on the mobile so it, it shows black color so let's go to the hamburger style settings and change the icon color to white so now it shows a white color if you want to change the position you can change the position also from here you can change the position of the hamburger icon if you want to change the mobile menu logo you can change it from here all right so we have got the logo the information and the menu item let's click on update and let's 
go to the website and let's refresh it now here you will see the new header section added to the website all right so this is a simple design you can modify the design and you can change the layout of the header using this free plugin now let's go back to this element skit header and footer we are going to create a new footer here so click on add new and the name will be footer let's say one change it to footer and it will be on it will be for the entire site click on save changes so this is just like the header we are going to create footer so let's open this let's close the footer sorry the header this is footer one click on edit with elementor so now we are creating footer so let's see we are going to create three section three column section uh, let's add the background color here let's add some padding to the top and to the bottom here i'm going to add the image that will be the logo so i'm just creating this for the demo purpose you can modify it and you can change the layout so here i'm going to add some text about the business you can change this image if you want now this is the first column in the second column i'm going to add navigation menu if you want to add other features you can add other elements so this is the footer so here you can see i have added the contact or you can see quick links change the color and the size so that it will look better and you can change the style change the color so in the footer we have got the logo then the, some text quick links to the website and here i can add the icon list which will again show the footer section or the contact details of your business so i'm going to copy this let me delete this one first i'm going to copy this and paste it in this column and change the name to contact details now here i will add the same information that i have here so what i'm going to do i mean to copy this one the entire icon list and i'm going to paste it here so this is the icon list i'm going to copy go to footer and in this column right click and paste it it is already in line so i'm going to change the layout to default and change the color the text color also so i just need to change the settings and i'll you can see the entire icon list is there don't need to repeat the same work so in the footer we have got logo quick links and contact details i'm going to add one more section here change the background color to let's say black and let's add the title change it to text and let's add the all rights reserved and make it center and go to style change the color to white and in this section let's have add some padding okay so this one looks good to me so this is just a simple demo footer that i have created for you you can change the layout let's click on update let's go back to the website scroll down and you will not see any footer here so let me refresh it okay we need to activate it it is not activated so we will need to activate it and click on save changes okay so the footer has been activated let's go back and refresh it now you will see the newly created footer here so this is how you can create header and footer
to the Elementor website without using Elementor Pro. The benefit of using this free header and footer builder plugin is that you can use many different features along with header and footer. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.